everybody and welcome. <laughs> Thank you for joining us and uh, <clears throat> what I wanted to do was just show you this space here that I've got to turn into a pottery studio and um, I'll just swing the camera around for you a little bit. So we've got these two windows here. <clears throat> As you can see I'm putting up some shelves um still lots and lots of work to do in here uh rather fighting the cold at the moment <clears throat> as you can see i've got wheels over there i've got my two two um kick wheels here um this is actually like a, a three bay garage um it's an insulated building which is nice um so this is like the raw material if you like that i've got to work with somehow i've got to turn this into like a viable working uh, workshop and um so i was just thinking you know like there's three things really that are really well, I suppose there's more than three things, but three things that come to mind um, that you really need in a workshop. And w one is go reasonably good light. You need light. And I think it's, it's good to have some natural light coming in. You know, fortunately, we have these two windows that are south fa facing, which is nice. Um, and then, of course, electric light you can add. Uh, another consideration is water and we are fortunate I do have a tap a tap over there um, it's not yet plumbed into anything it's just a just a pipe with a tap and uh, so I'll make something of that I've got a sink here an old um, plastic utility sink which I'll use and um, and then the other thing is of course uh, heating which is vitally important especially on a day like today when it's like zero Fahrenheit outside today's the 7th of um, January so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push where I'm pointing the camera up there I'm going to put a, uh, a pipe through the wall there and connect it to my wood burning stove which will probably sit somewhere about there where I'm pointing the camera so yeah maybe i'll just whip the camera off the tripod a moment we just one of the things i'm um wanting to do is as you as you see it's like a wooden particle board type roof uh, i've managed to paint the walls here on this side you know you need to get the the paint them white to re so the light is reflected better because otherwise you're going to lose a lot of the light it gets absorbed into the, the fabric of the um of the building we also do have a gas fire over there which is going to be useful occasionally although i don't want to use it too much so anyway as you can see i've got buckets everywhere everything is in a bit a bit chaotic at the moment I actually you know to be honest I haven't really done anything done anything much out here at all other than just deposit everything here and um, but I thought I'd just show you show it to you just to it's about the same size I think as the place we had at Etna um, reasonable views out of the windows here up onto the up onto the hills there this is Penn's Valley it's known as Penn's Valley my car is there at the moment but it's not going to be there for forever now I'll just go walk you through and down to there's that tap I was talking about there Whoa, we've got a lot of work to do anyway we go up these stairs here I've got a space here which I'm going to turn into a small a small gallery 
display area. So I've got some shelves here, my old shelves that I had from before. And um, we also had these shelves which are like built in. So we've got those also. And um, another sh set of shelves that are put up. So this is going to be next to the pottery. This is going to be the, uh, the display area. I think it's very important to have a display area, a place where you can see your pots nicely displayed rather than just in the pottery itself. If we walk down through here, this is a mud room and high ceiling. This takes us down into the basement, which is where I'm sort of, I'm trying to carve out a niche for myself down there. This building is an old barn. It's old beams, as you can see here. Uh, built in the late 17th century. So in here, pop a bit of lighting on. This is the underside of the barn or part of the basement. So, I'm working here because I can I can get a bit of heat going on in here if I need to. We do have baseboard heating, although I use it sparingly. I've got a small, one of these small radiant type heaters, which I can direct right on me. And um, so it's reasonable down here, isn't it? I've also got in here a... In this room, I've got a, a sink with a t hot tap. So that's good. We've got hot and cold running water. Um, I've set up my booth over there for doing photography. And um, there's a packing area over there, which I use for packing up pots or tools. Um, so... In fact, I did a clip yesterday. I did two clips yesterday, in fact. And the first clip was similar to what I'm doing now. Except that the battery died. <laughs> so I put the battery on charge and um, proceeded to do another one. And the, the other one that I did was... And I'll just have a look at these, see how they're getting on. We put handles on these, on these little, on these little cream jugs, these cream pitchers. That's what I did yesterday. I was going to upload that for you. So anyway, after I'd done the clip, I went upstairs to review, review, review the clip, you know, like I do. And then I, um, you know, as you do, you know, you do a clip and then you rename it. So I went to rename, but instead of going to rename, I went to delete and I clicked delete. So that was that. <laughs> so I'm sorry you didn't get to see that clip. Me putting on handles on these little cream jugs. Uh, they were a little bit on the hard side because I had made them actually some weeks before and I was keeping them under under wraps so what I did do what I did was to after I had after I, I had handled them keeping them under wraps still keeping them under plastic so that the you know the um, the humidity levels equalize you know between the handle and the um, and the body of the of the picture you know, otherwise you get like that, that, that cracking occurring at the top, you know, where the, where the handle joins the picture, you get like a, a crack occur. So I don't want that to happen. So this is one, one thing you can do, you know, pots prefer to be dried slowly if possible. Anyway, 
So I'm going to get down to some making. I've, I brought down my my other Shimpo wheel uh, here. Perhaps we'll do a review on that, shall we? Uh, I've got some boxes of clay over there waiting for me to tear into them. Break out the clay and then we're going to get get making. I need to get down to doing some making. Anyway, it's good to be back with you folks. Uh, it's been a bit of a hiccup. I've not been really uploading and then Christmas is, you know, plus we've had a bit of sickness. So anyway, um, I'm hoping that by sometime during this month, I'm, I'll, I'll upload them onto my web, website as soon as I can now, some dates for a possible workshop. And we'll have the workshop down here and uh, we'll make the best of it. <laughs> hey, good to be with you. Thank, thanks for your support and uh, all your comments and emails, etc. And um, don't forget, above all, keep practicing. And I'll see you soon in the next clip. Bye-bye now.